work has been carried with in collaboration with several colleagues from uh, Nanjing University uh, of Aeronautics and Astronautics, Zhengzhou University, and also uh, a French university called Université de Technologie de Compiègne, where I got my PhD diploma. Uh, so let's start. And as you see here, the topic it is on hyperbolic lattice exhibiting tunable elastic properties and impact absorption through carol twisting. And my talk will be divided into five parts. Uh, first of all, I would like to start with some representative examples of well-inspired designs. Actually, in innovative designs, researchers have tried to imitate the underlying models or systems from the nature to solve complex human issues, since the nature actually it provides us with almost inexhaustible supply of formal, fu functional, and process principles. Uh, from the macro scale, for example, uh, architects from the University of Stuttgart and they analyzed and abstracted the, the construction process. Uh, of this underwater nest of a spider and developed a fabrication process of fiber reinforced uh, structures. And here it is a material efficient pavilion they have built uh, several years ago. And similarly, Professor Zhu from our research group in the year of 2018, and he have mimicked the Y shape observed from a fish or perculum and designed such uh, a flight vehicle rudder, which achieves a 20% improvement of both the stiffness and strength. And if we look into a much smaller case here, scientists from the Harvard University, and they have mimicked the teeth-like tentacle in shark skins, and they have produced such drag reducing and lift generation materials. So in lattice design, extensive work were also bell inspired. For instance, the very famous BCC and FCC unit cells, and they were based on the ordered arrangement of atoms in crystalline material and the honeycomb by its name, we see that it is bell inspired, okay? And most recently, Fang proposed such a damage tolerant lattice benefiting from the green boundary enforcement effect. And in parallel with the design of the lightweight lattice and meta material have also uh, received extensive attention and that is the reason why we are here today. And uh, today, I'm going to talk about such kind of tension, torsion coupled meta materials. And this unique twisting property has been, prop, uh, has been reported in the pioneer work of Fraser in 2017. And uh, after its publication, immediately an overwhelming research interest has been gained. So like, here are some following works. And our work can be casted into this framework, the tension torsion coupled meta material. And before I start with my design, I would like to address that the proposed design in the following work, it is bell inspired and also a unique twisting effect can also be achieved under the same framework of parameterization. So in this sense, we say that our design, it is from, but beyond the nature. And this kind of lattice, we name it the hyperbolic lattice. Okay, the second part on the design of the hyperbolic lattice and its tessellation. So in reality, this design was inspired from a fine beetle's altron. And according to such a macro-computed tomography carried out by biologists, and we have observed that a clearly double layered structure, and here we 
we notice a quasi hyperbolic column like trabecular, it interconnects the external and the internal shells of this hardened following shell. We consider this the excellent wind load resisting capacity of this structure. Uh, and uh, we developed such a hyperbolic feature for this lattice design. For lightweight purpose sake, and this hyperbolic surface you observed here, they have been replaced by struts, uh, by these circular frames and replaced by these lateral struts. So this is a very original design of this hyperbolic lattice. In order to facilitate the periodic cell patterning, a regular polygon rather than a circle, it is adopted here. Thus, the first parameter that characterizes this unit cell, it is a number of edges of the polygonal scaffold. So for instance, here you see the first several examples implies an equilateral triangle a square, and a hexagon as scaffold. With regard to the lateral struts here, interconnecting the top and the bottom scaffolds, here we introduce another parameter, INC, which indicates the inclination of these lateral struts. And here, the value of this INC parameter, it denotes the difference of corresponding serial number of these vertice, uh, vertices. And if this symbol sign here, it is positive, then we see the connection, it is clockwise, and otherwise it is anti-clockwise. So this is the most important two topological parameters of our hyperbolic unit cell. And here, if you create such a unit cell by connecting only unidirectional lattice struts, and you got such a unit shell and uh, a unit, uh, uh, such a hyperbolic unit, and the, this unit features an obvious parallel geometric uh, features. Once we have got this unit cell design, a patterning strategies, it is absolutely required. And here, we would like to borrow uh, the concept of Euclidean plan tanning, which is from the, from the mathematicians, considering the similarity between plan tanning and unit tessellation. So in our work, we have adopted one regular tiling and another uniform tiling. And for the definition of this regular and uniform tiling, and we prefer to omit it, them here uh, for simplicity's sake. And in any case, in, in any words here, we focus only on these two tilings and where these hexagonal units are both involved. And we adopt the, the ground notation for each tessellation. Here it is. 6 power 3, and here it is 3.6 power 2. So the superscript here, it indicates uh, actually the number of polygons around these uh, vertices. And this base, it indicates the number of edges of your polygon. So here we present different views of the lattice structure combining the hexagonal type unit cell with the regular, regular tiling strategies. And we change another tiling strategies using the uniform tiling and we see the topology of this lattice structures, it has been changed. So for both of these structures, after the, their tessellations and the mechanical properties uh, are started here. So the load bearing capacity of them are compared. We have employed in our work the asymptotic homogenization approach. And here it is a spatial distribution of Young's modulars. 
and with varying inclination angles of lateral thrust. So you see here, the only variable, it is inclination angles. So we observe that all the surfaces here, they take an hourglass-like feature, implying that the material are transversely isotropic. And in this table, we present the elastic constant of these hyperbolic cellular materials following the regular tiling and the uniform tiling respectively. And for a non-dimensional measure here, the compressive stiffness and the shear stiffness have been normalized by the Young's modulars of the parent material. And we notice that the compressive stiffness, it is mostly influenced by this inclination angles. And concerning the shear stiffness, we see that the more inclined the lateral struts are, the higher this shear stiffness are. So apart from that numerical analysis, and we have also uh, 3D printed a series of cubes composed of hyperbolic lattice units. And from this load the displacement diagram, we can observe that the stiffness of different cubes varies in a large range. And the measured stiffness here, shown in this column, corresponds well with the, the numerical ones from the homogen homogenization approach. And furthermore, we have also compared the load bearing capacity of uh, the hyperbolic lattice structures with their counterparts, such as BCC and 3D Kagome lattice. And here we ensure that the same amount of material have been used, such that their performance is only influenced by the respective topologies. And the hyperbolic lattice here, the the upper two here indicated by the green and red line here, we see that the hyperbolic lattice seem to be far superior to the other two counterparts under compression. And in the third part, we continue to investigate on the twisting effect of Carol unit cells. So due to this apparent geometric chirality, this cell presents a clockwise twist undergo undergoing a vertical displacement. And here we have applied a four millimeter displacement along this vertical direction. And we observe that the maximum displacement measured on this structure, it is over 10 millimeter, implying that, that a considerable rotation has been occurred. And on the measure of the rotational degree for actual and this value, it is as high as 2.65 degree and in comparison with two degree reported previously. Despite that being significant of this carol twisting effect at this cellular level, and this twisting effect can be totally surprised at a structural level once these unit cells are tessellated either by the regular or the uniform tiling strategies due to this kind of self-locking after tessellation. So how can we benefit from this twisting effect after tessellation? And we propose to step up two, uh, two Carol unit cells while designating a smaller mid-layer frame here compared to the top and the bottom ones. And the displacement contour reviews that the maximum displacement here, it is over four millimeter. And in this sense, we see that the rotational degree freedom are released for the mid layers. And specimens are then fabricated by stereolithography in using photosensitive resin and here it is the compressive uh, stress strain curve in static compression. And here 
It is a video recorded for the lattice place under compression. And please know that at the first phase, a clearly rotation is observed on the mid layer here. And afterward, lateral struts here, they start to buckle and gently get into touch. And we underline that a possible increase of energy dissipation may be induced by frictions of this lateral stress after rotation. And here are the captured frames during testing. Clearly rotation, buckling, and contact mode have been observed. And upon this, uh, upon unloading, and this unit cell starts to rotate, rotate reversely, and the deformation has been restored. And lastly, we also carried out a drop impact test on different sandwich structures called by different lattice structures. And here we have adopted also two kinds of uh, hyperbolic lattice and a BCC lattice core. And the force displacement, a force time diagram revealed that an excellent buffering effect has been achieved since this impact force is about one third for these hyperbolic lattice structures. And the arrival of this big force, it is this delayed to more than three times. To evaluate the energy absorbing capacity, a direct integration of the force displacement reported previously here, it is a force displacement. And by calculating a simple integral under this curve, we obtain the energy absorbing capacity. And it is noticed that 2.6 joule over five, it is absorbed by this BCC called sandwich structure. Well, for this hyperbolic lattice structure called sandwich, and more energy has been absorbed. And here, if we observe also this residual imprint here, we notice that here more plastic deformation has occurred on this face cover, implying more plastic deformation and more energy absorbing by this cover, cover plate. So in this sense, we see that the hyperbolic lattice core, it uh, absorbs more energy. Despite here, we see that our structures has a better energy absorbing properties, but how can we explain these unique properties where the energy has been absorbed? It has been absorbed by the plastic deformation, the buckling or crushing of this lateral stress, or maybe possible frictions, or some other kind of energy dissipations, I don't know. So, uh, at this stage, we say that an urgent demand, it is still put forward to a reliable finite element code for a critical insight into this better energy absorbing capacity. So that is almost all about the work. And the last, I would like to conclude that in our work, we have achieved Caro and Acaro designs simultaneously. And by borrowing the concept from mathematicians, we have improved the lattice diversity. And finally, the designed hyperbolic lattice structures possesses a wide range of tunability of elastic, elastic properties, and also the excellent damping effect due to the twisting effect. And, uh, and also we observed the, the improved energy absorbing properties. And here are some other directions for further explorations. And in the first place, we need to address the size effect of our design. And also uh, maybe we need to, since we are now, uh, when we are doing validations, we are using uh, photosensitive resin, but we consider to use smart material alloys to benefit from the super elastic properties of this kind of materials. And the most challenging work could also be the size optimization and the proper tunabilities by optimization techniques. And uh, here are some references, and I would to stop here and thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.